Kevin Durant got his wish and Steve Nash is no longer the head coach of the Brooklyn Nets. Before we get into that, drop us a like and subscribe for daily sports content from us. But man, man, let's get into it, man. What do you think of this firing of Steve Nash? Do you think it could possibly change the trajectory of the Nets season? I really don't think so. If anything is going to change the trajectory of the Nets season, it'll be front office moves as far as acquiring talent because this Nets team even if they're able to optimize themselves on the offense, because they are extremely offensively talented when you're talking right. about guys like KD, Kyrie, uh, Simmons as a distributor, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. uh, but their issues aren't on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, they've been not operating eff efficiently. Their issues are on the defensive side of the ball. Correct. They cannot play defense. Simmons has not looked like the defender. They were kind of banking on him being. Yeah. And then on top of that, when you look at the East, you look at the best teams, you're going up against Giannis and Brooke Lopez in Milwaukee, Embiid in Philly. Uh, you got uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers with their you know massive front, um, and that's going to be an issue. They don't have that size. I don't see Brooklyn doing anything better than what they already were expecting, which I think is a lower end, maybe playing team or a yeah. seed. Yeah, I mean this is this was the right move. Obviously, it's certainly late. Um, if you remember, it seems like it. Yeah. If you remember, I've been I've been clamoring. I've been questioning. Steve Nash's validity as the head coach of the Brooklyn Nets for some time now. Are you even sure Steve Nash is a good coach? That's an or, great or an above average coach. Yeah. I mean, obviously last year was his first season ever as a head coach. And it seemed to me that his his game plan in the postseason, especially, especially in that um Buck series in the Eastern Conference semifinals, was Kevin Durant, you gotta play every minute of this game. Every single one. <laughs> and, and drop and, 50. And, and that's what you gotta do. And there wasn't a lot of game planning, it appeared to me, that was going into that series from the Brooklyn standpoint, and there wasn't really a coaching edge. Mike Budenholzer out coached Steve Nash. That's not something prior to the Bucks winning a championship that we saw happen many times. So um there's a question mark in coaching. I believe that. Personally, I would have fired him after the Brooklyn Nets lost to the Milwaukee Bucks two postseasons ago. And obviously, last season was a complete mess. The start of this season, now mm -hmm. the Brooklyn Nets sitting at 2-6 and six is a complete mess. So, honestly, I think this was certainly the right move. I think it's going to change for the better for the Brooklyn Nets, at least in terms of this season. Because, as we know, Kevin Durant literally wanted Steve Nash fired before the season even started. So, you have to think that he's elated. To, with this news, even if he won't say it publicly to the media and whatnot. He might tweet about it. He, he might, on, maybe on his you know, little burner or something, exactly, he might say something yeah. about it. But you mentioned it. This Brooklyn Nets team can't guard anybody. Nope, they, they can't. won't guard anybody. They and can't. that is a direct implication of Steve Nash. And obviously, the reporting is that the Brooklyn Nets might be close to hiring Ime Udoka as their next head coach. And while, you know, his off-the-court stuff you know, you can you know, leave up to interpretation. What he did on the court is, you know, pretty much, you know, cut and dry. He was one of the best coaches in the NBA last season. I mean, he literally did what Brad Stevens, who we all revere, is a pretty damn yeah, good he's coach. A great coach yeah. He did something that Brad Stevens couldn't do his entire time as head coach of Boston Celtics, which is take that team to the finals in his first season at the helm. So obviously, Emo mm -hmm. Doka would be a huge, a massive upgrade over Steve Nash, particularly on the defensive side of the court, which is where the Brooklyn Nets struggle. We know what KD and Kyrie is offensively. I expect them to get it going. I think a new face, a new voice in that locker room, especially somebody like Udoka, is going to help we'll this, see. this team. I for mean, the you're going to need like a Phil Jackson, master of Zen, not really sort though. of situation in this. I I just don't see really. how they can handle this. You know, they they aren't going to improve or upgrade anyone on defense unless they make a move. And again, I point out one of the bigger issues is they have no post presence. No, I mean, they don't. Nick no, they Claxton don't. is their best post presence. And I get it that you can go small ball against a lot of teams, yes. and, and it does work. Mm -hmm. But every once in a while, you do need to throw, like, even the Celtics, who went small ball a lot. You got to throw Robert Williams out there to no doubt. go up against Joel Embiid or Giannis. I just don't see Brooklyn Nets as currently constructed. Even if they are improved by their coaching, it doesn't move the needle to me where I'm like, all right, they're clearly like top five, top four, top three I'm not going there in either. the East. This is a team but that- But they're not going to continue to be at the bottom of the Eastern Conference as they currently sit, you know, at two and six. I expect this team to put together a run around Christmas. I mean, obviously, as long as health stays a factor as long as KD and Kyrie are on the court and you know Ben Simmons is a question mark I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to sit here and defend <laughs> what he's brought to the table on and off the court really but good off the court 
like suits and uh, he do be, he do he, be fresh as he hell looks, on the bench. That is he prime Ben Simmons right now. He do be is, fresh. He comes in. He's got that great walk up yeah. to just sit on the bench. Yeah. Good clapper, all that. <laughs> That is what he brings to the table right now. But if anybody is going to bring out the best or something out of Ben Simmons, I would think it would be Udoka. That remains know. to Doc be seen. Doc Rivers tried. I mean, how many different coaches have tried at this point? Like, We'll see. Steve Nash certainly wasn't going to get the job. He's no longer in the building. That's a win for the Brooklyn Nets. Let us know how you're feeling about the Brooklyn Nets, Steve Nash being fired, and possibly Emu Udoka being the next head coach of the Brooklyn Nets. Let us know. The Nets gave away their future for Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett. Yes, they did. They then got Kyrie, which, I mean, that explains itself. That happened. Now they're trying to get Ime Adilka. How about just no more Celtics <laughs> coming? Like, no, Brooklyn, don't go for the Celtics, guys. It's a poison tree for you. Stop it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out our other videos, and don't forget to smack that subscribe button down below while you're at it. Also, for more great and original content, head right over to bbmsports.com.